Hello guys, welcome back again to our channel. This is Masolat Visual. As you may know, uh, our channel is all about streamlining workflows within architecture and design. So what we do is we emphasize, we give tutorials and uh, design efficiency workflows uh, in the area of architecture and design. Uh, we come back, we come back again with another tutorial uh, which i guess will be helpful in terms of uh in design and your workflows and your day-to-day -day workflows i hope you watch till the end and enjoy the video have you ever found yourself um wandering through google maps and imagining how cool it would be to access uh, to have access to all the 3d models Yes, uh, me too, and I I've been thinking about this for for a while now, and I have finally decided to give it a shot. And thinking about it, this method can be applied to a lot uh, more than uh, just Google Earth models. You could manipulate these Google models uh, into more into your urban design workflows, into your architectural design workflows, into movie animation, into if if at all you are into them. Uh, so i'll be introducing you guys the, the today's video will be just an, an introduction guide on working with google maps and uh, google map and blender uh, uh just and just you know how to get around uh, google maps how to, how you you could manipulate all the 3d models into your workflows um so it will just be a, a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that and it's just a quick guide on how to get any city you want into your models and yeah so we're going to create a city we're going to create any city you want you're going to grab any city you want and yeah that's an interesting interesting thing uh, i discovered and i really not, I like it so i hope you guys like it as well the first step like i said um we are going to use a software called render dark uh, you have to install it, uh, render doc, just go, it's easy to install, does not require uh, to be cracked and so on. Just go to our website, I'll leave the link to in the description for you guys to go check it out. So you you open render doc just to make sure you have it. Make sure you have it. As, as keys for, for the messy desktop guys. Um, so this is render doc. Uh, I'm sure you're pretty wondering what this is. What 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 this is? How are we going to get a 3D model into this? How are we going to uh, get a Google Map into this? So yeah. Uh, another thing. Now, uh, this step one, you open Render Doc. Step two is to create a shortcut of uh, uh, Chrome. So make sure no application is running besides, uh, uh, you know, no. Is it Microsoft Edge or Chrome or Firefox? Make sure nothing is all running in the background. You you, you can check the taskbar, uh, Control Shift Escape, just to sh uh, make sure nothing is working behind um, behind the scenes. Uh, you can close them. You can close close all 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 this Chrome. Make sure you end session because this is sort of um a really helpful workflow guys uh, make sure nothing is working behind the scenes we're going to close all this we're going to close all this um why is it taking a while i should have done it before um So make sure you you end all yes I did end everyone everything even Chrome. Let's let me just close like this. Chrome is is uh, uh, Firefox is out. And yeah. So you you go to uh, program files. You go to program files now. Just to check where your Chrome is. And create a shortcut of your Chrome in the desktop. 
so chrome is mostly in the project x, x 68 86 i meant to say uh, then google and then chrome application right click and then um, create shortcuts right click create shortcut yes you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop yes uh, it's there it's here real quick remember render doc we are still here don't worry just um, follow suit we have blender here and this is what you'll be using uh, chrome blender and lumion and and so on so now we have this um right click this properties i have a code here that i want you to paste so that uh, you could access uh we're, we're, we're coding now this code i want you to i'll leave it in the link and i'll leave it in the link on the on the description i'll leave it here I live in the description box <laughs> for you guys to um, check it out this code that I'm talking about uh, it's a cheat code uh, just a, a quick quick code uh, this is step one right um, creating a shortcut and then the step two is now uh, Google Chrome shortcut right this is wh where we at so you uh, properties let's go back again right click uh, properties and then here you paste the code that i was talking about and then say okay and then you, did you see the switch up from the chrome to this this is what you want okay so now run the doc i think we are we are, we are we are mixing step two and step one so step we go to run the doc file import did you see that inject into process that's what we did and then we are going to we are all about workflows remember so in render doc create um, inject into process go to file inject into process and then run that shortcut that you uh, when you run it you're going to give this it's going to give you this uh, this number uh, one six three five six All right so you're going to copy this number to render doc render doc is here um one six three five six refresh there it is this is what you want this chrome to work then inject and then you could now go to that chrome and press ok it has to go to uh, take you to a site and now you could go to google maps you could go now scout for your buildings wherever they are and francisco and Jamaica and Cape Town and whatever, wherever you are, Brony, wherever you are, and Google Maps. So we, you remember, we are, we try, we are trying to create our own cities. We are trying to enhance our projects and so on. And make sure you choose this one, satellite, satellite. And now, go to cities that are well modeled. But uh, for now, for this, for demonstration sake, I'll take you guys to Cape Town. I'll take you guys to Cape Town. Where are you, Cape Town? What am I doing? <laughs> I'll take you guys to Cape Town. I'll take you guys to Cape Town. Cape Town. Uh, a well-modeled city. Here in Cape Town, I don't know. Let's say your project is... Um, uh, 
אז... Um, let's say maybe you have coordinates of your site. You have coordinates of your site. There it is my site in Cape Town. Um, I'm doing a residential plot in Cape Town. For instance, I'm just saying, for instance, I'm just doing a residential plot in Cape Town. So, or whatever, maybe any any project. Maybe you want a street view of the CBD here, or maybe whatever, guys. So, you wait for your model to to clear. Alright, you see, it's still making out that those move. So now go to render doc. go to render doc so we can now start capturing what we want capture that set capture the set you move it and then it captured you see do you see that it captured you go here it captured so we could capture another picture uh, another picture uh, another picture hope of uh, you know such models uh, detailed render dog uh, trigger of the delay capture immediately a dead capture and then capture again just make sure you capture enough pictures it captured so you could go to another city but after capturing you save you save your models guys um saved files saved models saved models um cape town cape town you save this one, you save this one as well. Keep town uh two. Uh keep town This is just for backups. Keep town three. You can move to another city, Kenya or Uganda, another city. Uh you can go to UK, Bellingham. Uh, you could go to Australia, Malibu, you could just, you know, go to any city. You could just scout, scout any city. Right now we are in San, San Francisco. Uh, let's say this is your site. This is your site. Depending on your project, right? You could have an urban project, urban design project. You could have a, a park station at park development project you could have a residential development you can have a cbd project depending on on your kind of project guys so we are currently here um let's capture let's capture this let's capture this project um render doc uh, capture immediately uh, let's see if it's, it's capturing oh what's happening here okay go to 3d um, let it capture again sorry something happened I captured uh, wrong files capture capture of the delay the moment you capture and you move that's great the how it captured let's capture again uh, capture so enough capturing for today so you save them as well 
San Francisco San Juan this is um, San 2 so now you could close that you could minimize that you can now open your blender you could now open your blender and blender what you're going to do is uh, we have now introducing top uh, we're now introducing blender tutorials in our work workflows because we found that if you're an architectural designer and technologist you need to catch up with the times you need to uh, practice you need to know all the softwares so in blender you're going to go to file import but first things first uh, you need to install maps modeler importer uh, I'll leave the link for that uh, it's a plugin for you guys to have this uh, Google map uh, importer Google Maps capture so here we are uh, we are going to import now the capturings we we had just um, um, Google map Google map Save with models Cape Town import Google map of Cape Town let's see if it will come through yes it has to come through so I hope you are enjoying this Cape Town remember the city we are capturing this is the city we are capturing this is the city we were capturing. Ask us about that. So, this is the city. You could apply the realist realistic, the white model, you know, all that kind of stuff. You see? see now this is the model we are capturing so let's say you want to visualize this you want to have this in your project um, now you could have it as a, a lumion file you could have it as a Lumion file. You could, I think, when you are capturing the Google Maps, we need to delete this uh, grid lines. So that's a mistake. That's a lesson learned. You could have a white model, and then make it sketchy. You could uh, manipulate this image as with whatever you want, um, the way you like. So make sure we import, we export it as a color file color file is for Lumion a color file is for Lumion you export it as a color file Google map save models um, Cape Town color uh, save Let's see what uh, in Lumion you could manipulate it with so much. Oh, but uh, first things first, uh, you need to join all this. These are uh, individual models, individual meshes. You can do that in Blender tutorial. You could um, join them and then go to um, where do I go? for to for you guys to make it a, a single object object join you make it one you see you make it one so yeah in Lumion uh, this Lumion is our last step uh, 
Lemion is our last step. Cape Town. We're going to import Cape Town. This is where now we are taking the city that we captured in Render Dog and Chrome into Lumion. Save it models, Cape Town, color the file, import. Um if you don't know Lumion, we have a step by step course in Lumion where you could create nice scenes. Uh, nice vendors. So the method was Google Maps to Lumion. I hope you enjoyed the workflow. It was a step by step tutorial. Um, yes, um, if you feel these tutorials are helpful for you guys, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, turn the mini bell and select also that uh, when we we publish a, a video next time, uh, you you receive the notification immediately. Uh, so in Lumion, this is the model that we captured. This is the model that we captured in Cape Town. <laughs> so I know you could you could do better. You could uh, capture nice cities. You could, but this is what we captured for demonstration sake. This is what we captured for demonstration sake. Yeah, we could have um so in Lumion you can do wonders guys. Let me let's it's fine. So in Lumion you could do wonders, you could render, you could enhance, you could texture, you could create animation, uh you could save. So that was basically the workflow guys. You could make nice uh, record uh you know you could do wonders you could so let's say this was your case study you can make animations out of it you know and present but present your workflow you could present your your you know i don't know but i hope you liked this tutorial i hope it gave you insight uh on what this could do and what you know so yeah you could play around with the c effects you could play around with the effects. So yeah, gents. Um, that was all about it for today. I hope. I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope. Uh, Yes, uh, stay tuned, uh, continue watching our videos, um, uh, you could chip in, you could uh, leave your comments in the description box, in the comment section, and we can take it from there. Uh, that, that was all about for today. For today. Thank you. Um, bye for now. See you in the next video.